the sample median which we'll abbreviate with M bar so the letter M with a bar over the top of it is an unbiased estimator for the population median which will indicate which is the letter M. So the sample median is an unbiased estimator for the population median. So this again means if we took multiple samples of the same size, the mean of all of our sample medians would be the same as our actual population median. So again, that idea that if we went out and repeated a, a study over and over again, each time collecting different randomly selected data, the average or the mean of all of those different sample medians would give us the true population median. In real life, we usually only get the opportunity to conduct one study, so collect one sample set of data. So we have to look at constructing these estimates. So to estimate the population median, we'll start with a point estimate. which will be our sample median, M bar. And then again, we'll be stretching that value using a margin of error. <clears throat> so we'll take our sample median and add and subtract some margin of error, or we can report that as our lower limit comma, the upper limit. So we'll end up with that range of values in interval notation. So we can estimate means or we can estimate medians. What we want to keep in mind is that estimating the median is less desirable sorry, there's an E in there, desirable, or actually just using the median itself is a less desirable measure of center than the mean. The reason is the median doesn't take into account all of the data values in our sample. That means we're um, more or less ignoring data information that's in our sample data. So if we're ignoring information in our sample data, we're not taking everything into account. Um, just it gives us a, a measure that can be less accurate than the mean. So whenever possible, we want to estimate the mean. That's always going to be our first choice. But there are certain conditions that we have to meet in order to estimate the mean. So in cases where we can't, we'll turn to estimating the median as our backup.